Hello, I'm Eric Reno, and this is a video for Tipsquirrel.com, the free website for everything Photoshop and Lightroom. In this video, we'll be taking a look at workflow options in Adobe Camera Raw. So let's jump in and see what's what. So here I am in Adobe Camera Raw, and I've got a couple of images that I'm going to be working on. Now let's go up and open these up in Adobe Camera Raw to start with, and you'll find the workflow options using this link down at the bottom of the screen. If I click on that, up pops workflow options. Now these are really handy, and I've done a video in the past about reducing the size of panoramas, and I've done that using the resize to fit. Now you'll see here that I can change this to anything I like. Let's change the long side to a maximum of 1,500 pixels. Now I might also want to change the resolution, perhaps to 72 pixels per inch. Let's sharpen for the screen. Now there's also some colour spaces that I can choose from here. Some of these you may recognise, LAB colour for example. I'm going to stick it onto LAB colour, there we go. Now I'm just going to click OK. And for this example I'm going to press Done. Now let's go and open a second image. And you'll see that the settings have come across with this image too. If I click the link, you can see that what we set in the last image is now here. Now this may not be what you're after, so it's just a note of caution really, just to check if you've changed it previously before. Now what I can do is I can change all this back. Let's go to Adobe RGB and not that one and not that one and change this one back to 300 pixels per inch. And I can save this, I can save this default. So new workflow preset, and I can call this one the default and click OK. Now, if I change this back again, let's try this one and let's go 3000 to be different. And there we go. we'll leave it like that. There we are. Done. And go back to our original one. And sure enough, you'll see that default edited is in there. Well, I can now go back and change it to default. So we're all back to where we were to start with. Now, like I say, these are all sticky, so be very careful. So there we go. That's the workflow options in Adobe Camera Raw. Just to be wary, don't forget they are sticky, but you can always save them as a preset. I'm Eric Reno. This has been a video for tipsquirrel.com. I hope to see you there and back at this YouTube channel very soon. Bye-bye for now.